like to briefly set the context for today's conversation. So India is one of the world's fastest growing major economies, driven by a young population, a rapidly expanding middle class, and national scale digital infrastructure. With nearly two thirds of its population under 35 and consumption led growth, India is no longer just a growth story, but increasingly a build and execute story, especially in applied AI and platform technologies. With reforms boosting investment in global trade, India is projected to become the third largest global economy by 2030. So Rani, thanks for having us. Let's first start at macro level. How do you see India's role evolving in the global AI ecosystem? India will be a scale enabler for global AI, while the US will lead in frontier models and China in the state-backed de uh, deployment. India's advantage lies in applied AI, building, training, and operationalizing models at massive scales with strong engineering depth, cost efficiency, and real world data, uh, data sets. India will power AI implementation globally rather than just model creation. So building onto that global view, what is it about India specifically that makes its trajectory different from other economies like the US, China, or Germany? So India's trajectory is shaped by three factors. First is a young workforce. Second is a consumption driven economy. And third, which is a service first growth model. Unlike export led economies, India scales uh, comes from its domestic market, which is around 70% of GDP from consumption and a hybrid service plus manufacturing path positions it to become a top global consumer economy. As India scales on the back of those structural advantages, it also runs into some very real system, system level challenges. So what do you think are the biggest global challenges in scaling advanced technologies like AI, cloud, and automation? I would say the biggest challenges are integrating this technology at scale, navigating uneven global regulations, managing data fragmentation and addressing the talent shortage. Companies that design secure, interoperable and compliant system, not just advanced ones, they will lead 